we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to find this nameplate real quick and take care of Mr. Kirby here in a moment. But uh, joining us is Augusta head coach, uh, Dick Metris. We've got Tyshawn Crawford. And also joining us is um, Jacquees Kirby. Uh, once again, we'll continue doing what we've been doing all year. We'll start with an opening comment from coach. And then we'll have our student athletes for a few minutes for questions. And then we'll go ahead and release them. And then we'll have Coach uh, finish things up. Coach, opening comments about today's game. Uh, you know, all the credit goes to Northwest. They played a really good game. Uh, in this stage, you have to play well enough to win. And we didn't play well enough to win the game. All right, we'll open it up for questions now for our student athletes. First off, on the all-tournament team, uh, both Tyshawn and uh, Jacquees both made the all-tournament team. So if we have any questions for those two uh, student athletes, let's go ahead and get started. The microphone is right there. Go ahead. Tyshawn, uh, you're emotional after the game for good reason. Um, talk about, uh, tell us about what it, what it feels like to pour your heart into that. You come, come back, you make a 22 to five run, get back in the game come up short, but it, it was a wonderful season. Tell us about that. Uh, you know, me and my guys uh, work hard all year. You know, we went through a lot of adversity. But uh, the ball, I mean, the basketball guys had it another way, you know. And that's how it is. I mean, we, we, we fought back all we could, but, you know, you see what happens. So. You talk about the adversity. You, you did handle it like a champion all season. Um, what what caused you to be able to do that? Uh, just my teammates. Uh, we get all we got. We're all we got. Uh, in these moments, we lean on each other, and that's what I'm gonna continue to do through these moments, through the highs and the lows. Can't never get too low, but you know this one hurt. So, uh, just get back to the drawing board, nation. Jacquez, you, you know you're a freshman. Um, you know how much do these moments, I guess, like this, you know. Uh, maybe prepare you for the, you know, future championships down the road? I don't ever want to feel like this again. Gotcha. Um, you know, coach, we doing coach, no coach? No, just student athletes right now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Do we have any other questions for our student athletes? We'll go ahead up front. Tyshawn, about the game, uh, you know, some tough, uh, a lot of contact in the paint. Um, you took a lot of contact. You got called for a couple charges in the first half. But, um, you know, you kept your composure. You, you played against a lot of uh, adversity when it comes to, you know, how the whistle blows against a seven-footer. Um, talk about um, going through that tonight. Uh, it happens, you know. Uh I can't control what happens. I mean, a lot of people watch the game, you know, but I mean, that doesn't, I don't, I don't know. It, it doesn't stop us from doing what we're supposed to do. Uh, a lot of plays don't go our way during the season, but we, we got to keep fighting through it. And I think my guys did a great job of fighting through all of adversity. You know, it could we could have got a couple more calls, but I mean, shout out to the ref in Northwest Missouri. They did what they were supposed to do and it came out with a win, I guess. Any other questions for our student athletes? Okay. Hi, Sean. Please, congratulations on a terrific year. Thank you so much for joining us. And now we'll open it up for questions for Coach. Go ahead. Coach, uh, you know, you said before the game it would be in the 60s. You ended up being right. Uh, but at 39 points for the other team in the first half, I, I was wondering if that was going to come true. It's a really great defensive uh, run there in the second half that got you back into the game. Uh, you took a haymaker from, I guess, a two-time player of the year. Talk about uh, the team answering that that call. Yeah, we, we battled back. You know, you know, he's a great player, man. I'm on the All-American Committee. We got it right. He's player of the year in the country. So, uh, now it's probably, guys, that was a really mature statement by Tyshawn. Because uh, he could have answered it the non-politically correct way. And uh, but I'm very proud of him for answering that question properly. Next question for coach. Go ahead. Yeah, coach, you know, free throws, something you've done all year, you know, shot really well, struggled a little bit tonight, you know, with that. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we, we missed some free throws. 
we lead the country in free throw attempts and zero leads the country himself in free throw attempts. And uh, we got to the line and we didn't make them. Uh, you know, what, you know, you, you were here in 2008, you know, what's different about this run compared to the last one? Absolutely nothing losing sucks. So, you know, different team, different guys. I got text from all those guys that I coached in 2008. And I guarantee that's what they'll say to me, losing sucks. So there's no different feeling. Proud of the fact we galvanized our city again. Uh, not an easy thing to do at our university, but we're able to do that. And uh, our guys will see that when we get back tomorrow. Okay, my last question is about that uh, that support that you have from Augusta. Uh, so many fans coming to see you play here today. Um, I know you can feel the uh, excitement back home. You, you told the team that. Um, what's uh, what's it going to take to uh, maybe carry that forward into next season? Uh, we're going to put a good product out there. Hopefully, we you know today's eight. You know today's day and age. You hope won't come back. We're supposed to come back. I, I feel good about that. And. Uh, we got to take care of business. We'll take two weeks off and start our workouts here two weeks right after the Masters week, which is our spring break. And uh, we'll address some things in recruiting. But uh, got proud of our guys. They battled. They stuck their nose in it. We, I don't know what we were down. And we, we put it to a possession game. We put the ball on the block. And uh, we, didn't, we didn't convert that one. Curb got to the free throw line. I think he missed two. It was a four-point game. Uh, so, you know, that happens. But the fact that we kept battling uh, – through, you know, through a tough year. I mean, they're good. I mean, you know, we tried to trap Huggins in the second moment, the second half of the ball screen. Uh, you know, we have a disadvantage when Tyshawn's out guarding the ball, and we try to outweigh it by putting the ball on the block to counteract that. So the first three possessions, there were fouls when they threw the ball in the post. And then after that, I guess they stopped fouling with their subs. Any other questions for Coach? Just to, well, okay. Uh, to answer your question, though, coach, it was a 22 to five run. Started in the, uh, you're down 52, 34, 13 minutes left, and you cut it all, all the way to one. Is that what it was? One point? Was it a one point game? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's when we got called for a tough foul. Tyree got, him and Huggins got twisted up, and, you know, yeah. You know, coach, uh, you, you, Got a new assistant coach, you know, who was a volunteer coach, and Coach Lenny, who came back and, you know, helped out the team. How big have they been to this run? Oh, they're great. You know, Lenny's been around a long time. You know, he's retired four times with me. Uh, so it's a tough trip for a guy 82 years old. But, uh, you know, Zach's done a great job. I'm just proud of the fact that we were able to, you know, get to the point of the last game of the year, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I remember in 2000, whatever year we lost, if this is the worst thing that's happened in our life, losing a national championship game, they're going to have pretty dang good lives. And, uh, you know, I think our guys, you know, the, the good is that we get take two weeks off. You know, the really good is we have a week of school, and then we have a really a week for spring break, which is unusual uh, just because of the Masters. And then by then, we'll get back to work. we got to get better. One more question. Go ahead. Coach, you were talking about how you will start workouts very soon when we get back, and you have only two players that will be leaving, graduating, a graduate student, and then a senior with Jack. How did games like this, knowing you have lots of players that will be staying at Augusta and a lot of driven players, how does that then drive you to want to make them better? Yeah, it'll be a reference point. You know, it'll be a reference point for everybody. We won't, won't belabor it too much, uh, but it's just a good reference point. I mean, we played the last game of the year, you know. We missed some free throws. We missed some ball screen coverage, defense stuff. So you just use it as a reference point moving forward. And uh, last year we didn't have a reference point because we only had like six guys playing. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just use the reference points and hopefully, you know, figure out, find some teams that will play us and uh, get ready to, to, you know, whatever coach that next year, whatever year is, 22, 23, I think. And uh, like I said, we've got some good pieces returning. Uh, they know what they have to do to get better, or hopefully they know. If not, we'll tell them. And uh, like I said, put ourselves in a position to be back playing the national tournament. I, I don't know if it's up here or not. Uh, you know, if it's up here, Hopefully we can bring some people up here and, and uh, support us again. Coach, thank you so much for the time. Chad, got one more, Chad. Go ahead. Thanks. I said it would be my last one, but I have to ask one more. You said that you were on the All-American Committee. The question is, did you vote for Tyshawn Crawford? Well, the way they do it uh, is you have to be the leading vote getter in your region. Uh, Lodi was a leading vote getter in our region, which deservedly so. He's a great player. 
And I remember a discussion with Huggins, and there was the guy from Nova Southeastern and the guy from Black Hill State. And I'm like, hey, man, like this guy's won his whole career. And uh, somebody referred to him as the Oscar Robinson of Division II basketball, which is a hell of a comment. For you young people, don't know who Oscar Robinson is. <laughs> he knows who Oscar Robinson is. <laughs> His old guys knew who Oscar Robinson is. And uh, I was, was probably a very tell- telling comment on a kid. Uh, he had a great, you know, he had an unbelievable game. And, and uh, now he, he deserves it. I mean, they deserve to win tonight. They definitely deserve to win. I'll play this. All right, Coach, thank you so much for all of your time this week. And congratulations on a terrific year.